Hello everybody and welcome to this uh, mod review. This is the John Deere 4755 by Dominic. Uh, yeah, he did some really crazy thing uh, to this 4755. We have, you know, I can, I can live inside of this uh, rim here. Uh, <laughs> the mod itself, it's 28.3 megabyte to download and it comes in a lot of different color options. Uh, you got some big fat tire options, even like you see here, triples. Uh, and you also got an unrealistic uh, horsepower of the amount of 890 horsepower. So yeah, this is uh, <laughs> this is a PC mod, would I say? I'm on PlayStation 5 today, uh, but these uh, unrealistic engine capacity is definitely something we see on PC, even a toothpaste uh, <laughs> color tractor. So this is the, how it looks if you don't do anything with it. And uh, we do have a couple of other 4755 as I recall. So we're gonna have a look at it in the shop and we're also gonna do some testing, some plowing, cultivating and maybe some fast farming i haven't tested it but uh, hopefully it should work so you find it under medium tractors and i think i have a couple of these before yeah i have these guys uh, ooh, uh i want is it black sheep modding uh don't don't rephrase me on that one but we have uh, some of these 47 and 40 series but this is the one it's 15 slots and it comes like this if you don't do anything with it 108,000 to buy uh, with 190 horsepower so uh, i'm not going to go through all the uh, different um, wheel options but we have trellborg michelin continental mitas bkt redstein and Nokian and lizard so in Lizard, you can have, <laughs> no, 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 let's see, Lizard, singles, rare jewels, rare jewels with weights, jewels in the front, and with weights, triples, or LSW. <laughs> and there are some of these others also, not Trelleborg actually, they only have these normal tires. Uh, Michelin, uh, also normal tires. Let's see, Continental had uh, white tires. Now I have to say, some of these white tires don't have collision on the edge. Uh, just to be aware of that, doesn't have anything to say in such way. Uh, Mitas have also LSWs and the other ones, BKTs, and oh yeah, Continental, uh, no, Nokians. <laughs> Look at these fat boys. <laughs> these are really fat. <laughs> um, and then uh, you have Beacon, yes or no, one Beacon on top, Window Tint, Standard or Dark, Engine Setup, 190 horsepower or 890 horsepower and that also pushes up the top speed from 32 kilometers an hour up to 150 kilometers an hour <laughs> it's precision farming ready so you can have these additional sensors that's going to cost you 15,000 by the way and then main color you have a lot of nice ones there uh this seems like a color palette from tlx actually tlx phoenix blue uh that's some nice red colors there and also on the rim colors you have you know chrome and stainless steel uh yeah you can play around with these as you want and and a license plate so yeah like you see here i've uh tried to Combine, combined some of these wheel options color options um, it also has a movable rear ball hitch so to speak 
Let me put on my good help window here. So L1 and R1, right stick up and down. Boop. You can adjust the voltage, which is pretty nice. You can also open the back window. R1 and up and down on the right stick. Interior, pretty much standard as it should be. Uh, you got some li nice light options. There we go, horn. So this is the standard one. Uh, nothing extra, nothing extra wheels or weights or uh, engine. This is uh, a pimped one. But I really like that he kept the sound on it. But yeah, let's try to uh, let's try to go a little bit fast. I haven't gone up to top speed and tried to turn with it. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, there we go. 130. Yeah, we're getting there. So let's see how it is to turn now. Oh, it's not great, but it's getting there. It's getting there. <laughs> we should jump with this one. Um, so now I want to test it with, you know, let, let's uh, let's go and test the uh, plow. Let me see if I have missed something in the mod over here. Uh, beacon light, LS, double views, all those things. Uh, I think I got everything. So uh, I'm uh, I'm gonna test to to fast uh, plow with this one. So here I got the uh, weight from, uh, ooh, is it Polycon Tass, isn't it? And this is the John Deere plow. Uh, for those of you who don't know how to fast farm, this weight here, you'll find on the weights, uh, do, 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 and all the way at the end, this one, the self-made weight, yeah, by Polycount, yeah. So this one also you can change all the colors you want up to 2100 kilos with weights uh, But you can fast farm with it So Let's see here now uh, There we go Now the plowed area on the left side there I've done on an earlier uh, Well that's my test map actually, so I haven't tested this, but let's see, uh, let's lower it down, and do I, uh, I need to take on create fields of course, bam, there we go, and yeah, it's fast farming, <laughs> we are fast farming for sure, we are up to 70 kilometers an hour, triple wheels on the back, and a 16.7 meter plow and yeah this is uh, highly unrealistic that's for sure but <laughs> if you are in a hurry if you have really big fields uh, this is uh, a way of uh, getting it done pretty fast Let's disconnect that one. And uh, now I want to try the early riser planter. And uh, on the back here I have the drawbar, which you can also use for um, fast farming. Just make sure that the implement you are putting on the back also has a pin hitch. I think it works with. Um, both pin hitch and trailer hitch yeah this take like an hour to open but the drawbar here also under miscellaneous no the other one was on the weights of course there we go uh, this guy here the arco drawbar there we go so let's see let's see have you unfolded the body it's on corn, I don't have fertilizer in it, but it doesn't matter. Let's turn it on, lower it. I got the hiccups. And let's see what this guy can do. Yeah. 
There we go. You can cover some really serious acres per minute with this guy here. <laughs> Let me see if the, it's going into the ground. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We are planting corn. <laughs> but what I also want to test is the actually, um, you know, the uh, the horsepower on it. And to do so, I pulled out the uh, cultivator, which uh, requires 500 horsepower. So, do, 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 do. you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna jump out of this and let's take let's take the toothpaste tractor. <laughs> this guy. There we go, unfold this guy. Yeah, so this is uh, the in-game uh, cultivator. Uh, I think it's 500 horsepower requirement. So it's one of those uh, heavier one. And this also has a uh, voltage. Oh, let's try now. Can we fast, can we raise the trailer hitch? L1, R1. Ooh. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see if we can pull it first. <laughs> we should be able to cultivate over here. Yeah, so this is normal speed and no problem at all. Now, what happens if I raise this one? Whoop, like so. Will that count as. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. Cruise control on, 15 kilometers an hour, and you can raise and lower the bullage on the back, but it doesn't do any fast farming, so to speak. But it seems like the um, the 890 horsepower are uh, real, so to speak. Uh, there are uh, some tractors, you know, that has especially one tractor which I use on one of my let's play which has a hundred and ninety horsepower but I cannot pull things with a hundred and fifty horsepower requirement on it uh, but this one is most probably uh, a realistic 890 horsepower tractor that puts it on what second place over the uh, most powerful tractors, I guess only the uh, Big Bud with 1100 horsepower is bigger. But yeah, that's a uh, short, sweet and simple uh, mod review of the John Deere 4755 by Dominic. Yeah, alright, alright, I'm gonna use this. At least I'm gonna have it in my mod folder. You know, in case uh, I'm gonna use it, uh, I know it's there. And in case, you know, uh, suddenly Giants or John Deere comes to to remove this because it's too unrealistic. It has happened before. Uh, for those of you who didn't play FS19, uh, we got some real unrealistic uh, harvesters on the map. And after a while, the map maker had to. Well, it, the map actually got removed from the mod hub. So if you want it, go ahead and download it right now. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you to see you next time. <laughs> bye bye.